Hi, Pat Ray here, Referee Manager of Bay of Plenty Rugby, and in this video I'm going to show you how to complete a coaching report in Who's the Ref. The current reporting system that we use at the moment is called RIMS, uh, and all standard coaching reports are currently recorded in RIMS. However, we've brought in a new referee coaching report system. In August 2016, Bay of Plenty Rugby referees purchased extra functionality in Who's the Ref. Two new reports were loaded based on our requirements. In essence, the old coaching report from RIMS and the word document used for Premier referees for their self-review was simply duplicated and written into Who's the Ref. This video will demonstrate how to complete the new coaching report in Who's the Ref. The benefits of using Who's the Ref are the coaching report in Who's the Ref is attached to the fixture. This means the fixture details are already entered into the report, saving the referee coach time. Like RIMS, all referee coaches can read all of the coaching reports entered in who's the ref and also like rims only the referee can read their coaching reports the obstacles of using who's the ref are that only referee coaches from provinces that have signed up to use who's the ref can enter coaching reports into who's the ref so let's take a look at the new coaching report the appointment process remains the same as a referee coach once you receive an email notification of a fixture and you accept it your name will appear next to the coach in the appointments column of the fixtures list You'll notice a new icon, A5, which relates to the coaching report, will now appear beside the referee's name. This icon is only visible to the coach appointed to that fixture. In order to enter the coaching report, you simply click on the A5 icon and the report will open. And here you can see the referee for this report, as well as the competition and the fixture, have already been entered into the beginning of the coaching report. The referee coach simply just needs to enter the home score and away score, and then select what areas that you're going to be reporting on. Now these are exactly the same as what was in RIMS, and all you do is select the two or three areas that were the referee strength, and the two or three areas that require further learning. Once you've completed the evaluation summary, it's time to complete a description of the game. And that gets written here. Then once you've written the description, you write the strengths in this box here. And once you've written that, it's time to write the coaching advice in this box here. And then the matters to consider go in this box here. Once you've completed everything, tick the final version of No More Updates and then click Save. And that's how you enter a coaching report into Who's the Ref.